Ah, here we go. Now this is a this is a chainsaw in here. I won on eBay for a lovely price, three pounds fifty. Now all the ones that I bid on were actually uh, where are they? They were listed as non-runners, so this shouldn't run. However, usually when people they usually list stuff or sell stuff as non not working, non-running, you get non-running lawnmowers, non-running bikes. You get uh, oh I hadn't realised it's poking out the side of the box. Look at that, just poking out the side of the box. Um, you know, you get, I've had vacuum cleaners before that were listed as having no suction because there was a pair of socks wedged up the pipe. You know, I've had lawn mowers in the past that were listed as non-running because they didn't have any petrol in. Well, in one case, it, the guy had put diesel in it instead of petrol. So, in theory, uh... Well, the chain, uh, the chain is off. It looks like the chain's off. So, we may have to put a new chain on it. I did have some chains. I think I'd give them to someone else. I did have some chains, though. But, uh, yeah. Everything seems to be functional. Whether it's going to work or not is a completely different story. So... What we got here? We've got a bit of rope. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to see whether this actually runs. So, need to put a bit of petrol in it. Once we put the petrol in it, we can see if it's going to work or not. Dirty this uh, this chainsaw, but it's got compression and that. But the fact the chain can't is off, which I think means we're gonna have to put a new chain on it. It's not a problem. There we go. Full to the brim. Now we'll fill up with the old petrol. You see whether this is going to work. Alright. I'll let that petrol dry up a little bit. It's still a bit of petrol about, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So let's give it a few pulls. I can't seem to see where the choke is actually. Can't seem to find anywhere where the choke is. There's a little lever here that doesn't seem to do anything. And then you've got the stop, it's like a stop switch here. So, the old, the train does stay on a bit, so. Oh well, let's have a look, let's give it a few pulls and see if we can get it to go. Nah, I don't think that's going to go somehow, do you? It's, uh, Let's see if we can find out where the choke is supposed to be. That's interesting. We haven't got an air filter. Yeah, so we've got no air filter. Nothing in there. So, I would assume it's supposed to have an air filter. I mean, some things don't have air filters. They're stupid, I know, but some things don't. Such as snowmobiles and things like that. But chainsaws are going to come across quite a lot of dust, aren't they? The chainsaws are going to come along, come across some, you know, wood dust and things like that. A bit of wood dust. So, yeah, well, going to have to try and sort out an air filter for it then, obviously. And just have to hope that it ain't uh, damaged. So let's try and find a pl sparks plug spanner and get this plug out. All right, what have we got? We've got this one. Yep, that fits lovely jubbly, that one does. What size is it? This one, alright. Let's 
uh, see if we've got any fuel in there. Because it was supposed to be a non-runner, so... Yeah, oh, there's a bit of fuel in there. I think. I think it's a bit wet. Not, not very wet, but it's uh, ever so slightly wet. So, let's see if we've got any spark. Don't know. If, uh, I'm not going to be able to get it, so you can see it yet. Hold on a second. And then maybe you'll be able to see in a minute. Right. Ah. There we go. We've got a nice, lovely blue spark. So that's got to be all the way out that way, is it? Right, oh. Have a look at this nice, lovely spark we've got here now. Oh, you can see they're lovely. You should be able to see they're lovely now. Look at that. Right, watch this. You can see that. So we've got a nice spark. We know we've got a nice spark now. So we don't need to worry about that. We can put that back in there. We haven't got... Oh, what's this all about? Hmm. Don't know what that's for. Some kind of little mesh film thing. A bit of mesh. I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. Let's put this plug back in here before we get any dirt in there. We don't want to get dirt in there. Alright. Let's take the covers off. <clears throat> All right. Well, I've found out that this little lever that I thought did nothing is actually the choke. It was it was a bit jammed. It was stuck on the casing, and you're supposed to pull it like that. Can you see the little butterfly moving there? The little choke moving. So maybe it might fire up if we close it up, and we have this on the on the open position. Just close. That's open there. Nah, still aren't getting anything, so I wonder if we're even getting any fuel going in. Got a tiny little carburetor here, little throttle there. Let's get a bit of a uh, bit of spray. Get a bit of spray and clean it up, shall we? This whole thing is filthy, man. This whole lot is... Uh, you can tell it's been well used, that's for sure. Anyway, let's take some more stuff off and see what we can find. Well, on closer inspection, I've come across... This is the fuel line, the fuel pipe. It come off the carb and then went straight down into the fuel tank. But, look at the length of it, right? You can see the length of it. That's only long enough to literally just poke through the hole. The hole is in the top here. You can't. You ain't gonna be able to see it, but it ain't long enough. It doesn't even go in right down into the fuel tank. So it ain't gonna just get any fuel to be sucked up. So and it doesn't look like it's been broken off, as if it's perished and broken off inside. There's nothing inside the tank. So you know. Gonna go and find myself another bit of fuel pipe and see if I can get it to work. Maybe that was the only issue. Maybe the fuel pipe was too short. But obviously they must have done that and someone must have done that. It wouldn't have been working like that and all of a sudden stopped because it wouldn't have worked like that anyway. 
Right, let's just make sure to see if it is actually going to run once we get a bit of fuel pipe. Found a bit of pipe here. Well, I'm going to spray a bit of. Let's turn that off. Spray a bit of carb spray. Open up the throttle. Spray a bit of carb spray down in there. Put the choke on and uh, give it a pull to see if it's actually going to run. Because if it's going to run, it'll run on this. Well, there you go. That proves it all, doesn't it? That proves it all, so let's get this bit of fuel pipe on. Which we should be able to do fairly easily. As long as... Uh, as long as that's actually going to fit in there. Might have to cut the end off, whatever I've done with the scissors. Might have to just cut the end off there because it's a bit of a funny shape, but I think it might be too big. Might better force it in with a screwdriver, maybe. Well, I've got a new bit of fuel pipe. There it is, hopefully. Can you see that? Just about. New bit of fuel pipe, guys, are aware about now. <clears throat> uh, hey. Goes uh, straight in, all the way down into right into the bottom of the tank now. Lights running out of battery. So, let's put this back on and put the uh, put a bit of petrol back in it. Put a petrol. Then we can see it was going to run on its own under its own steam, or whether it's going to have to have some more work done to it. Ah, for those of you that have never seen one. This is the carb from it, because it wouldn't run on its own, it wouldn't suck up the fuel, so I'm suspecting there's some kind of issue here somewhere, so I'm going to have to get myself a bit more carb spray, because we're, we're running out now, running out of carb spray, just a bit of brake cleaner instead. running out of brake cleaner and all but there's the carb now I'm going to have to take the top off and in there is a little diaphragm which has probably had it it's probably going to need a new one I'm going to have to see if I can get some Warburg carb so I'm going to have to see if I can get a little um, little rebuild little gasket kit or uh, a little seal kit or whatever they're called for this and I can seal it all up and rebuild this little carb I'm not the type of person that just rebuilds carbs for the fun of it you see a lot of people they get themselves something and then they just take the carb off and rebuild it they're like well I'm thinking to myself why are you doing that you only need to rebuild the carb or clean the carb out if it ain't running right and in this case it ain't running at all so <laughs> Yeah.
So, when I'm just taking the bar off and the chain off and everything, give it a bit of a clean inside there. And I've noticed this plate here. Now we've got to, it says here, 1984. So, I can't read what the hell that means. Fabrication. I'm assuming that means it was made in 1984. Was it really? That's fascinating. You wouldn't think this would have been made in 1984, man. You wouldn't think chainsaws used and that are in this condition would last from 1984 to 2017, would you, eh? I mean, you can understand it for like a vacuum cleaner or a bike or something like that. But chainsaws are generally ripped the hell out of them to cut some wood. They're usually worn out in a couple of years. Well, any chainsaw I've ever seen is worn out. Same for Paddy's motorbikes. The Pat, the Paddy's motorbikes worn out in, in well, not very long at all because they're revved to the nuts all the time. But anyway, so it looks like it was made in 1984, which is spectacular. Very good. So the old clutch seems to be all right. Doesn't seem to be much wrong with that. So I've given this a bit of a clean. I'm still going to a bit of a clean under here. Put the bar back on again and uh, stick the old chain back on. I'm going to tighten the old chain up because it weren't, it was loose, it come off when I first got it out of the box but uh, yeah, all it needs is a bit of tightening and it'll be alright. So clean up all those parts, all those there. I've ordered a rebuild kit for the carb, the carb is no longer here because I took it indoors to get the numbers off of it. I've ordered a, a kit for it so I can rebuild it all and uh, then we can get the old carb back on here again. And uh, yeah, the next time, that's meant to be here in the middle of next week. So, well, hopefully it'll be here before then. Hopefully it'll be the weekend. Now I can get it going. Sweet.